needed to be. Okay, David, you. Tony, coming out of the last TV timeout, I forget what the score was. Maybe you're up one. Isaac had not made a three all day, and you clearly drew up something, got him free there in the right corner for the three-pointer that he made. What was that set? Who, who called it in the huddle? Yeah, it's just an it's that. yeah, just an action that you know we we set a lot of off-ball screens, ball screens, and just it's one of those actions that you look at to try to get a clean look. We hadn't used it, and I thought um, there might be an opportunity, and and um, and if it wasn't there, we just would play on. But that was a big. Big time pass by Reese and a big time shot by Isaac that we needed, obviously, with the way we were at the free throw line and gave up a couple of the offensive rebounds. So it was just an action we felt was, was time. Okay, Greg, and then Mike. Yeah, I think it was your first technical foul since 2010. That, that's yeah. a long time. Yeah. Um, uh, what, was, what was said? And I guess what was, what was your biggest point of contention? <laughs> I thought uh, Hildreth had traveled on the play. I thought he had carried it and kind of traveled. And I, and I said, call the bleeping foul. And um, and he heard me, and I asked him, I said, why'd you call T? He said, because you, you cussed at me. And I said, all right, I guess I deserve that. But if every time a coach in our league is dropping a, a cuss word, there'd be a lot of technicals. So, but, uh, but I shouldn't have said that. I really shouldn't have. That was classless on my part. It was just the heat of the moment, because it was a big possession. I thought we, we were guarding, we were guarding. And I thought he had traveled. I watched the tape. I might be wrong. And again, I shouldn't have said that the way I said it to him, but it just um, it came out, so um, and uh, he had heard that, and that's why he said he gave me a T. And so uh, my esteemed buddy here, colleague, we're tied for technicals. He got one in a seventh grade game, Bach did, and now I got one here, so we're tied in the technical fouls for the uh, the season here. Um, he might have more than one this year, though. He only has one. So, but I, I really felt bad about it. But like, you know, because I was like, points were at a premium, and that was two points. And last time I did that, um, <laughs> that was my first year, uh, we ended up losing that game. And I just I didn't want us to, although had we made the free throws, it would have been a little different. But yeah, it was just one of those bang, bang plays. And uh, it was a physical game. And again, um, what was said was, it was said, and shouldn't have done it. And again, we move on. Tony, I know it's hard to immediately look ahead, but you guys played Tech on, on Monday. You've already matched up with them once. They're another team that can spread the floor and get going from three. So how important was the step you took defensively, and how important will that be against Tech? Be uh, obviously at a premium. You know, it'll be a, a very intense atmosphere. I mean, this is, um, you, you just have to do that. You can't, um, the rest of our schedule, it's, it's been good all year, but this is, these teams are, are tough. Anything on the road, um, and the opponents we're playing, you just you got to be right defensively. If you're not, um, we can't just, you know, we did at Florida State. We kind of won more, a little more with our offense, and hopefully there'll be some of those games. But we got to keep bringing that defensive and make them earn. If they're hitting the tough shots, so be it. But making them earn. Tony, I know you guys are a lot different of a team than you were when you played them a month ago. But what was the difference against Hunter Salas? He controlled the game well, yeah. in Winston and today. Well, there was a, a, you know, I thought Reese had a heck of a game and we matched him up. So you had to have some good individual slides defensively today, but there also was team. I thought Ryan defensively was terrific with uh, some of his, his blocked shots. He had seven, oh my gosh. Um, blocking shots, grabbing some key rebounds for us. And then, you know, the other guys, I actually thought Andrew Rohde guarded well. Um, and Blake gave us a big lift and Isaac, so, so it was there. But particularly <coughs> against uh, Salas, um, is that how you pronounce his last name? Yeah. Okay, um, he just we tried to make him earn because he's such a, a you know a prolific scorer and he he did torch us last time we were there. Okay. Yeah, Tony, uh, you still have five games left in the conference, but how much was this, for one of another phrase, a must win for you? Yeah, I mean every game's important. We've tried to you know again I know the narrative on the ACC and I I hope there's enough common sense by the selection committee when it all comes down when they get behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. And they're talking and saying, all right, let's look at this. Let's look at leagues. Let's look at the quality of the teams and how they're playing. That won't matter. But right now, it's just like the loudest voice. It's, it's kind of, you know, gets heard. And, and, uh, but I hope common sense. That's their job on the committee. Look at the quality of the team. Yes, you can look at metrics, but don't be fooled. There is an eye test. There's a quality test. And you look at, you know, what's going on in our league, and it's good. And even against other opponents in other leagues. So um, that being said, you know, Every game's important. You're always playing for them. I mean, the pit game was important. We positioned ourselves to get into this spot to hopefully 
qualify for a postseason tournament, be in a race for a, a league thing. And um, our job is to fight like crazy to not disqualify ourselves for that. And all we can do is lock into that qualitative process and not get caught up. We got to win this, we got to win that. But you better, you better play at a high level. And uh, all the games left are that. But common sense should prevail when it comes to the selection committee. Okay, time for three more. Jeff Preston. Jerry. Would you have envisioned when Reese was in his first year that he would grow into the kind of player who at times could put the team on his back off and offensively and make plays the way he did today and yep. has done so often? You know, year? his pass, yeah, a lot of things he did well. Um, but his pass, we ran a little another action. And he saw that pass. He almost threw over Blake where Ryan tried to get the, the tip. Um, but. This was a, you know, he had, he tested, he saw, you know, where it was. Uh, I think I hope people, when it's all said and done, look at him and say, man, that, how much he's improved. This to me is important for his development in his future. He's having to do things and get stretched um, because of the spot he's in and we need him and his game is improving in all areas. And I think it's significant and again, it's the process. A guy in his first year played a lot and he's just gotten better and better and now he has to do more things and stretch himself. So. Um, those who have eyes, let him see. And um, I think he's, um, when the time's right, he's going to make someone pretty happy. Okay. Yeah, Tony, just looking at, there's a position in the second half when Hunter Salas got switched off Reese to Ryan Dunn. And just kind of, what is that communication like between them? And just not, obviously, they're great athletes, but how they see the game defensively. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, the more, those are two of our most experienced players, of course, Reese is. And then, you know, we talk about that with um, Isaac and, and Ryan, but you know, so much of defense is, it's about heart and hustle, but it is about anticipation, communication, and, and being continuous. And you know, at times we stop and we pause and it's no good, you can't do that. And so I thought Ryan was, was active tonight. I thought he was, you know, he, for the most part, he made that young man work Henson for Pitt to hit some tough shots. Um, but I thought he even had an extra level of readiness, and he knew we needed help. And then again, Reese and him, their communication was good. But it's it's about being continuous and, and anticipation. Those are hard things, but you got to do it. Okay, we'll two more. Uh, Blake with a huge stick back there that gave you the lead. Just how important is it going forward with him down the stretch? Yeah, I mean, almost piggybacking how I answered. He is continuous. He's quick footed. Um, and he's getting more comfortable, and you need his length and his quickness. And, you know, they had two bigger guys uh, playing, or, you know, Carr, obviously, Efton Reed, and then when they brought in um, Marsh. So, um, but I thought Blake was, was helping us out, and he made a couple. I thought he had one. He could have dunked, he shot the floater, but his baskets were timely and important. And again, four offensive rebounds, you know, those things all matter. And so I thought he did a nice job. Coach, you mentioned physicality a couple of times. Um, Hildreth and, and Carl really struggled today. How much was your f physicality a, a part in, in their struggle? I, I mean, I, we just tried to guard. It was a physical game, you know, the, the refs allowed us to play and they drive hard, they're physical. We tried to be, I mean, we're, um, we just tried to be in position and work and you didn't have a, a choice. And I hope, you know, I'll watch the film. I hope we, we did stand in there, hold our drive line and just, again, the energy of the crowd and, and their effort and um, will or mindset uh, allowed us to be because you know we're not going to win any bodybuilding contests. Maybe a couple guys would have a could get you know a, a sixth or seventh place in it on a team, but we're not the biggest, strongest, and we're young. But but there's nothing you can't measure heart and position and willingness. And I thought we had that tonight in terms of our, our defensive um, being set and ready. Okay, thanks, Tony. Well, Coach yep. Forbes next. And then we'll have, uh, Blake